And now I'm going to use these uh, items to do a side by side comparison. So let's start it out with just like uh, December. And then I want to compare November and December. So I could th then take the B the total of just December, which is 120122 to 123122, run it. Now I've got one month's worth of data. And then I'm going to go up top and say, let's take the prior period, which will be November. Notice you got to be a little careful because it, you want to make sure that you're comparing month to month and the months are not even in days. So it might try to compare like 30 days to 30 days as opposed to a month that has 31 days versus 30 days, for example. Run it and I'm going to run it again because it didn't it didn't click. And so now we've got December, the most current period, and then the prior period, November next to it. And then of course the natural thing to do here we could imagine having a total that would say this is how much i earned in december and november november and december but that's not what we're looking for here we're looking for the difference this time so now i'm going to say all right what's the difference between those two change in dollar amount run it run it again because it didn't go and there it is so now we've got our difference column which is quite common and then we might want our percentage change percentage change, run it and run it again. That's our horizontal analysis, similar to what we saw on the balance sheet. Horizontal analysis will basically be taking, let's just take a, a line item here, like a income. So here's my income. We're taking the 3819.8 minus the 4526.72, a difference.